How can some birds fly so high? Simple. I send them high huh? using my remote control. Oh, I'm some. According to a research, birds with a longer wingspan relative to their bodies tend to fly higher <laughs> as longer wingspans help birds generate oh. better lifts. Hmm. According to another study, unlike humans, high-flying <laughs> bar-headed geese do not feel ill at high altitudes. Hmm. At high altitudes, they tend to breathe rapidly, as in they hyperventilate to increase their oxygen intake. Hmm. If we humans were to breathe rapidly, then our blood would become more alkaline, in turn affecting the blood circulation to our brain, making us feel dizzy. But as geese are more tolerant to alkaline conditions, it does not affect their blood supply. Huh? Hmm. Finally, it was found out that hemoglobin in geese's blood has high affinity for oxygen binding, thus helping maximize their oxygen intake. Hmm. Hence, some birds are able to fly so high. Hmm. How are uh -huh. butterflies' wings so colorful? No big deal. Even um sums hair are colorful. <laughs> oh, um some. Butterflies' wings get their colors from two sources. Firstly, pigment color. This color comes from chemical pigments such as melanin, uh -huh. which absorbs certain wavelengths of light <laughs> while reflecting uh -huh. others. Hmm. Melanin is also responsible for the color of our skin. Hmm. Secondly, structural color due to iridescence in butterflies' wings. Butterflies' wings are made up of thousands of transparent microscopic scales. Hmm. Also, each scale has multiple layers separated by air. Hence, uh -huh. when light passes through these scales, it is reflected multiple times. These reflections compound one another and intensify the colors. <laughs> hmm. Now, depending upon from where we are viewing, the light enters the wings at different angles. Hence, we might see blue, green, yellow, or a combination of the above three colors. Hmm. How do animals know when to migrate? Simple. They call and ask me. <laughs> oh, I'm um, some. Firstly, some animals decide when to migrate by measuring the length of the day. Depending on whether the days are getting longer or shorter, animals are able to figure out which season is approaching and make a migration decision based on that. Hmm. Secondly, some animals decide when to migrate by sensing the uh -huh. temperature around them. Depending on the prevailing temperatures, huh? they are able to guess huh? the incoming season and make a migration decision based on that. Hmm. Lastly, some animals decide huh? when to migrate depending upon the availability of food in that area. Huh? If there is scarcity of food, they may decide to migrate to a place with abundant food supply. Hmm. Why do bees buzz? They don't buzz. I keep on shaking them. Oh, I'm some. Firstly, the wings of some species of bees flap very rapidly. These wing beats create vibrations in the wind near them. When these vibrations reach our ears, we hear a buzz. This is one reason why bees buzz. Hmm. Secondly, when bumblebees visit a flower, they vibrate their wing muscles as well as the middle segment of their body, as in their thorax. Hmm. These vibrations cause pollen to fall off from the flower onto the bumblebee's body. This fallen pollen is used in two ways. Firstly, some of it falls off on other flowers, which in turn results in pollination. Hmm. Secondly, Bumblebees keep some of the pollen inside the pollen-carrying structures located on their hind legs. They then take the pollen back to their nest in order to feed the larvae. Hmm. Why were zebras never domesticated? No big deal. Um, some will domesticate them. <laughs> oh, um, some. Zebras have uh. never been domesticated because. Firstly, zebras are known to have one of the strongest kicks in the animal kingdom. 
Hmm. They're known to have knocked down lions with it. Hmm. Secondly, zebras are known to have an extremely powerful bite. Some huh? wild animals might get scared of approaching a zebra when it is angry, leave alone huh? humans. Hmm. Thirdly, as compared to horses, it is extremely <laughs> difficult to capture a zebra using a lasso as zebras have a very efficient built-in huh? ducking reflex. Hmm. Lastly, horses have a strong family structure. If the head of the family is captured, then the rest of the family follows him. The same is not the case with a zebra. Huh? Hmm. Why do we fear snakes? No, no, snakes are afraid of me. Huh? Oh, I'm some. It has been widely believed that our huh? fear of snakes has evolved in us through our common ancestors. Hmm. Multiple studies have been conducted on adults, children, as well as monkeys. Some had seen a snake before while some had never. Hmm. Huh? It was still found out that all of them were able to recognize snakes much faster as compared to other objects. Hmm. In another experiment, scientists examined the pulvinar region of the brain of two McKay monkeys. Hmm. These monkeys were shown pictures of snakes. Monkeys, geometric shapes, etc. As per the research, almost all neurons located in the pulvinar region fired when images of huh? snakes were shown. Hmm. While these neurons remained quiet when other pictures were shown. Hmm. Thus, neuron firing in the pulvinar region of our brains may be the reason why we fear snakes. Hmm. What is monkeypox? Hmm, let me check. Oh, I'm so. <laughs> monkeypox is a disease caused by infection with the monkeypox virus. Hmm. Monkeypox was discovered in 1958 when an outbreak of pox-like disease occurred in colonies of monkeys kept for research. Though it is named monkeypox, the source of the disease is unknown. Hmm. African rodents and non-human primates like monkeys huh? might harbor the virus and infect people. Hmm. The first human case of monkeypox was recorded in 1970. Hmm. Monkeypox virus is part of the same family of viruses as variola virus, the virus that causes smallpox. Huh? Its symptoms are similar to smallpox, but milder. Symptoms of monkeypox may include fever, headache, muscle aches, backache, chills, exhaustion, and a rash that looks like pimples or bristles. Also, monkeypox is rarely fatal. Hmm.